Hey guys, it's Crystal. Um, so this is, this video is about the Paparazzi Compensation Plan Part 2. Um, the first video, which is uploading as we speak, is um, the compensation on director and premier director. And I did forget to mention in that, some, that video, so I'm just going to throw this out here now. Um, if you are a star consultant, you do get compensation on your downline also. So if you are someone that ordered 100 PV in March here, and you have one person that signed up under you, you will get paid on them. As a star consultant, you get 5% of their volume. Um, and if you have two people, it's the same, 5% until you get to that director rank, and then you start earning the 10%. Okay, so in the first one, I did director and premier director, so now I'm going to talk to you about executive director and above. Now, it gets a little more trickier, so when, once you hit executive director, you need a team volume of 6,000, and again, that does not include your volume, so 6,000 strictly from your team, and again, the one-third rule applies um, on all ranks here, from here on out now, so you can only get one-third of that per leg. Um, so I'm going to draw you another diagram, just like before, so let's say... Here's me, and I'm just going to draw a bunch of people under me. Okay my nice little drawing. So, as you can see, right here is one leg, a personally sponsored right here and everyone under them. Right here is another. Right here is another. Here is another. Right here is another. So, in this diagram that I'm showing you, I have one, two, three, four, five different legs because I have five personally sponsored. And I'm actually going to make a sixth that person doesn't have anyone under them, but that's still a leg. So right here I have six legs. Um, so now let's put some volumes under each of these legs. So the one person has, let's say, 500. This group here has 1,000. This group has 700. You guys, again, I'm writing backwards, so I'm sorry. I can't even tell exactly what I'm writing anymore. Um, this one has 1,500, and this one has, let's see, 15, 25, 30, let's just say this one has 3,000. Okay, so for Premier, for premier Director, you need 6,000. So this kind of works the same way as it does the, um, I'm sorry, for Executive Director, you need 6,000. So this kind of works the same way as it did with Premier Director. Um, so on this leg I have 500, this one right here I have 1,000, so that's 1,500. This one here I have 700, so that puts us at 2,200. This one has 1,500, so that is 37. Then this one here is 3,000, so that is 67. But again, we're over on this one because for 6,000 with the one-third rule you can only take 2,000 towards ranking up. So if we're at 67 total and this one's over by 1,000 we have to subtract 1,000 so that puts us at 5,700. So we're short 300. Um, so just for this diagram I'm just going to make this one 800. So if this was your family tree here you would hit executive director. Now let's talk about executive director pay. So again, for the pay, just like you would at um, Premier Director, your first line you're going to make that 10%. Second line you're going to make 5%. Third line you're also going to make 5%. So again you're getting 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
And then second line, five, 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 five. Third line, five, 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 five. So again, your second line is anybody you're personally sponsored sign up, signs up. Your third line is anyone that that person signs up, and it just goes on down like that. So you're getting that, which is the same as a premier director. But now, once you've hit that executive director rank, you're also getting 1% generation bonus. Okay, so what's that you're wondering? A generation, right? Sounds kind of confusing. A generation is an executive director or above to another executive director or above. Um, so let's say, for instance, okay, so let's say me right here, I hit ex I'm an executive director. I've got enough people, I'm getting executive director pay. Let's actually just up these a little bit. Let's say this one had 6,000. Or let's say this person down here at 8,000 and keep this one back at the one. Okay, so this team down here with 8,000, let's say it's mainly all coming from this person and this person. Well, up here somewhere, we'll add a few more people just to make this a little more easier to understand. Okay, so this person right here, you're personally sponsored. Their volume, let's say they are at 7,000, and they're an executive director too. So what that means for you, since you're an executive director, you're personally sponsored, or anyone in your downline, it doesn't have to be a personally sponsored either. But you, ha you run into someone that's an executive director, that stops a generation. So everyone below this person, because this is an executive director, is now your second generation. Everyone else is still your first generation because you don't have any other executive directors or higher. Now let's say this person hits producer, this top person. So your personally sponsored hits producer. And someone directly into them hits exec, exec director. So you're an exec director. This person is a producer. So that stops a generation. So that's your first generation. And then you run into another, um, an exec director. So you've got two, a producer and an exec director in one line. So everyone below that exec director down here is going to be your th second generation. Wait, am I thinking right? Okay. Ends of generation, first generation. Everyone below that person is going to be your third generation. Okay. I'm just showing you that here. I know it's all scribbles it looks like, but I hope you've been following along and you can kind of understand me. Um, so, okay, so let's say... This chart we have working with now, okay. If you're an exec director, you're going to get paid th that extra 1% on every single person in your downline except for this line down because they're not your first generation anymore. Now, the next rank after executive director is producer. To hit producer, you need a team volume, volume of 12,000. That's huge. That's a lot. It's awesome. Um... To, you know, again with the 12,000, you can only have the one third rule, so 4,000, 4,000, 4,000 per leg to count. Um, so let's say once you hit that rank, you're getting that 1% is now changing to 3%. So you're getting the 10, 5, 5, and then you're getting 3% on your first generation. Um, let's actually even go up another step. Executive producer, to hit that rank, you need a team volume of 40,000. Again, with the one-third rule, so 13,333, 13,333, 13,333 is the max you can get from a leg, okay? Once you hit executive producer, you start getting the 3% on your second generation. So in this instance here, let's say this person's an exec producer, So this person is going to get 3% off of everyone. Now you're probably curious about this leg over here that has a producer. I'm going to move this exec director down here. So this is the exec. So we have a producer and an executive director down here, and these are directors. 
or star consultants. So, since you're an executive producer, you are getting the 1055 and then 3% on two generations. So on this leg here, since you're, you know you're getting it on everyone else, you hit that producer. First generation ends, right? So everyone below, that's your second generation. Now since you're earning second generation being an executive producer, you're going to get 3% on all these people here until you hit that executive director. Because then, at that executive director, everyone below them is going to be your third generation. So in order to get paid on them, you need to hit fashionista numbers. Um, so that's kind of how that works. Again, a generation is an executive director to an executive director or above. Any rank executive director or above, I should say. Um, once you hit fashionista, that's a team volume of 75000 with the one-third rule again. So 25000 max per leg. And then you get paid on any third generations you have. That's as high up as I'm going to go right now because as of right now, the highest rank we have is um, we have two producers on the team. So this should cover everyone. I hope that makes sense. I know it's kind of confusing. Once you start achieving the different ranks, it will come a little easier as you can look and kind of see what you're getting paid on and what you're not. Um, but you're always, you know, once you hit that premier director, you're always going to have that 10 5, 5. So that's super nice. That's, you know, good money. So if you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to let me know. Thanks.